said to Skeets. Which meant, it's Saturday, and I'd love to see a football match today. Oh, that should be easy, said Skeets. Rovers are playing at home this week, and though they're not so hot, they're easily the best team around here. Wait until I get my scarf, and we'll just be in time for the kickoff. <laughs> Having stopped only to buy some potato crisps to eat on the way, Skeets and the little green man, closely followed by Zoom Zoom, were soon approaching the turnstiles. No use paying for you, since no one else can see you. Let's go and keep warm over here. They made their way round to the terraces, where Skeets bounced up and down to keep warm. The little green man watched Skeets and then followed suit. He cried, which meant, Hooray! Hooray! Meanwhile, at the turnstiles, the cashier had just put all the money he'd taken in a large bag when a masked man produced a gun and held him up. And over the money, he growled. And the frightened cashier pushed the bag across to him. The masked man darted around the corner and took off his mask. He looked at his gun, which was a toy one really, fired it and produced a flag. Then he made off into the crowds. The ref blew his whistle and the game started with plenty of activity to keep the spectators happy. The ball was booted around between the two evenly matched sides until the cry went up, Go! And cheering broke out. And while the spectators were watching the game, the alarm had been raised and the police were hunting the robber. The robber knew that by now the police would be searching for him and he began looking for some sort of disguise which would make him look like a spectator. He caught sight of Skeets' scarf, which he pushed into his pocket and decided it was just the thing he was looking for. He gently pulled it from the trouser pocket, not knowing that the invisible little green man and Zoom Zoom were watching. They followed the robber as he sneaked away wearing Skeets' scarf round his neck. Two policemen were at the gate talking about the robbery, and the little green man soon realized what was happening. He also saw that the policeman had not spotted the robber wearing his disguise and he decided to give them just the help they needed. He quickly whispered in Zoom Zoom's ear, and Zoom Zoom took up his position. Right in front of the robber's feet. He tripped and fell right into the arms of the two policemen. The two policemen thought he was an honest football fan, however, and picked him up and dusted him down. Hey, yours, sir. Uh, good as new, said one of the policemen, whilst the other handed him his case never guessing that it contained the stolen bag of money. <coughs> said the little green man. Drat, he's going to get away. The robber, still afraid of the policeman, put his face into the scarf and made off into the crowds again. The little green man followed him and saw him stealthily sneak into the dressing rooms below the stands. Downstairs, where there was no one at all around, the little green man gasped when he saw how many trophies were on display. Oh, this team must have been very good at one time to win so many shields and cups, he thought. Zoom Zoom flew up to an empty pedestal 
and became a trophy. <coughs> Come on, grinned the little green man. No time for that now. Let's catch this robber. The little green man looked in lots of rooms, all of which were empty. There was no sign of the robber anywhere. <coughs> How strange, he said to Zoom Zoom. He must be here somewhere. Noises from a distance sent them rushing down the corridor to the shower room. Peeping along the cubicles, the little green man was amazed to find the robber calmly taking a shower and singing away at the top of his voice. What a nerve, said the little green man. Every policeman in the ground looking for him and he's calmly taking a shower. Another noise made the little green man take a look down the corridor and he was delighted to see a policeman bounding down towards the showers. Said the little green man. Watch this, Zoom Zoom. Here's where our cheeky robber gets caught. The policeman entered and looked at the figure in the shower. Um, excuse me, sir, began the policeman. But have you seen anything of a robber around here? The robber stopped singing and put his head out of the shower. No one but me around here, he said and went on singing. Oh, uh, all right, sir. The policeman stood at the door and scratched his head. Whilst the little green man was furious that the robber was slipping through the policeman's fingers again. <laughs> he said to Zoom Zoom. Let's see if we can make that policeman look a bit harder at our friend in the shower. He produced his antennae, which sparked and crackled as he pointed them toward the shower. The magic rays reached the shower and it turned round to throw a stream of water straight at the policeman. Naughty, naughty, sir, said the policeman as the horrified robber turned off the water. Oh, I thought you looked hot and bothered and would like a freshener up, said the wily robber. Oh, uh, that was very kind of you, but I've no time for that now. I must be off to find the ruffian who stole the money, he said. And off he went, leaving the little green man and Zoom Zoom feeling very cross indeed. The little green man's jaw sagged when the robber quickly sprang into the corridor and began scooping up a beautiful display of trophies, the best of which he stuffed into his case, which was now bulging. The little green man followed hot on the heels of the robber as he slipped into the crowds again. The robber made for the main gate again, hoping to make his escape this time. The little green man whispered into Zoom Zoom's ear once more, and Zoom Zoom shot off to trip the robber up again. This proved to be rather difficult, as the robber, who was walking backwards and forwards, dodged Zoom Zoom every time. It was only when Zoom Zoom had stopped trying that the robber did fall over him, completely accidentally. He fell even more heavily this time and landed out of breath at the policeman's feet once more. Well, if it isn't you again, sir, said the policeman, while the other started to dust him down. You seem to be making a habit of falling about the place, don't you? Determined to drop in and see us, as you might say. <laughs> Before the policeman could find the robber's case to hand back to him, the little green man produced his antennae and, just as a policeman stretched out to recover it, the little green man's magic rays reached the locks and they flew up. Out spilled the cups all over the ground. Hello, hello, hello. And what are we are? In no time at all, the policeman had found the bag of money also. Uh, that's him, cried the cashier, rushing out of his office. I recognize him from the back, though how very clever of you to catch him before he got out of the ground. The policeman beamed, and so did the little green man and Zoom Zoom. The little green man stuffed Skeets' scarf back in his pocket for him. 
Did I drop it? He asked. Where have you been anyway? You've missed three goals and bags of excitement. The little green man turned. He said, well, really?